Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and a couple days ago we made a video regarding TikTok. It's kind of the hot topic right now, and uh, four days ago I made a video, got over a million views, and uh, the positive support on it was definitely uh, kind of a little unprecedented. People don't like TikTok. Now, if you don't, if you haven't heard, the application may be getting a big old ban. Now, it may actually just be completely for the wrong reasons, but we'll cover it the best way that I can. Now, ladies and gentlemen, TikTok is a popular social media application. Had it not been facing bans, this may be one of the most popular social media applications, period, in our age. Tons of people use it. It's it, it, No matter what you say, no matter how cringy it seems to you, there are a lot of people who love this application. A lot of people who have straight up built careers out of TikToks overnight being gone. It's kind of like Mixer, except the government just straight up got involved and just started canceling it one by one. Now... Just to start off this whole thing with, when we made a video four days ago when I covered TikTok, I talked about spying, uh, social media spying, and just to clarify, I think every social media application spies and harvests user data for nefarious reasons, whether it be Facebook, whether it be Instagram, whether it be Twitter, whether it be TikTok, every social media application does it, whether it's from China or from the United States. Remember, the US is the one country that had the prism system completely exposed exposed right the system for state surveillance like literally what china is proposed to do with its user data the united states was exposed for it that's a fucking fact now the chinese government we talked about this a couple days ago in our tiktok video and i read out an excerpt from their legal like uh their, their their legal postings where the government at any moment can really just peer into your application can just peer into any of their tech firms and say hey listen we need this data for protection or state security or national security reasons Reasons, and they could pretty much get away with it. That's just how China operates. If we spy on our people covertly, China just outright admits to doing it. Remember, this is a country that has the social credit system just out there willing to go. It's, it's kind of messed up. Actually, it's very messed up. Now, TikTok is facing a ban because of national security reasons. Now, a couple days ago, we looked at TikTok and there was a big Reddit post. There was a big security research group post about it spying on users. And I will admit, for the most part, to me, it definitely seemed like a bit overblown. But there were key elements in it that scared me to an extent. Things like the obfuscation this application had went through, meaning how it tried to really get you away from looking into its code, didn't freak me out too much but for a social media app i'm kind of surprised the other big big tell for me that was really really shady was how apple ios 14 exposed that this was constantly looking into other applications clipboard data which is not okay in any situation it's just really shady they got exposed by the operating system themselves uh, for, for some really shady practices so tiktok is not innocent and in my opinion i would love for security researcher, researchers to have the chance to look into the code and come across some really, really nefarious stuff. Because I, I bet it actually would exist. I, I don't, I don't, I personally have the opinion that there are some shady things behind this application. Now, with all of that said, it is facing a ban in the United States, which means if it gets banned in the U.S., it means it's getting banned in its second largest territory that it operates in, foreign uh, India has banned it, and if the United States bans it, TikTok could literally go under before I'm playing Ghosts of Tsushima next week if this application is banned and it doesn't move its stuff real quickly. Now, right now, TikTok is actually moving its operation center from uh, Hong Kong, I believe, just outside of Chinese influence, meaning that if they can do this, China cannot compel them to give data illegally or legally under their terms to them, and the United States can't just claim that it's it, it's uh, it's used for a nefarious reason. They, they lose the ace in the hole. Now, let's be fucking real here. This isn't getting banned because of social fucking security issues. This isn't getting banned for national security issues either. The U.S. government does not fucking care about that at all. What they actually care the most about is the fact that for the first time in years, U.S. tech companies are actually the second banana to the Chinese at this point. You know, it, when you saw Huawei getting kicked out, it wasn't 
because Huawei was necessarily spying on U.S. citizens. It could have, but I believe it was never 100% proven that it did. It was literally getting banned behind the scenes for geopolitical reasons, because the U.S. couldn't stand seeing a Chinese smartphone manufacturer demolish U.S. smartphone manufacturers. It had to basically cut them off in one of the shadiest ways possible to stifle the success of a Chinese tech firm. TikTok, which is now poised to be one of the biggest social media services, conveniently gets the ban in the United States, not because it could affect things like the U.S. election, it could affect main, main things, it gets banned most likely because the U.S. just cannot see another tech firm rising up and harvesting the data of its citizens because it's okay when Big Brother does it. It ain't okay when, when Red Star Brother from the other side of the ocean does it. India banned TikTok not because India worried about national security reasons. No, 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 no. India banned it because they're at a fucking border dispute with China right now. All of this, all of this dick swinging is literally because these countries are engaged in some form of, a, of an aggressive action towards one one another there's no care about actual user data that's not a fucking fact worried about by anybody that that is the case because if it was a matter of national security if it was there would be a compelling case that tiktok was actively farming the data of u.s users and using it for incredibly nefarious purposes which at this point as far as i know is not 100 percent proven it may actually end up coming out that they've been harvesting user data for weird reasons it may but like most of this chinese application influence stuff when you read it in the news there's just no 100 percent concrete information that would give any credence for it to be a national security issue tiktok is as much of a national security issue right now as facebook when it comes to the harvesting of your data the government doesn't give a shit about you they're literally doing it to push an agenda and that's pretty much it with tiktok 100 percent. i will bet my right nut that is what the case is now with the chinese government it's actually kind of really scary with how the actual nation is operating in regards to newer laws implemented for their own citizens in how they can be extradited from hong kong to china for just bad mouthing the government whatever it's very very draconian with the things that are happening over there and there's no doubt about it there's no doubt mentioning any of that too the way the chinese are treating us canadians is actually fucking childish and the the fact that we Canadians haven't actively banned their shit right now in retaliation just shows that us maple leaf fucking us maple leaf guzzlers are just a little bit too nice in this day and age. We, we, we should stand up a little bit goddamn harder. Now, TikTok getting banned like like we covered in the video four days ago. If you watch it right now, I definitely agree that there is an effect of Chinese influence, uh, the government influence in regards to data collection. Trust me, could Beijing ask TikTok at any moment, hey, give us user data? Could they ask any Chinese tech firm for U.S. data? Yes, they could, and they would be compelled to receive that data. If the company in China refuses to acknowledge their request, uh, the state can just step in at this point. It's actually like that in China. That's how things fucking work. All right. And as much as companies want to deny it from their side of the world and say, no, 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 we're not compelled to do it. That's of course, that's what they're going to fucking say. You think any PR agency from TikTok, Tencent or anyone is just going to come out and say, no, 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 no. We wouldn't just actively spy on you. No, no, no. You think they'd fucking tell you the truth for that? If they told you the truth, every smooth brain out in the world would parrot it and immediately stop using the service. That's that's how things work. They can only tell you just they can only give you the, 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 the somewhat half truth regarding user data collection. Now, at the end of this whole thing, should I believe TikTok receive a ban? Absolutely not. Not not right now. The day that this application is 100 percent verifiably proven to be harvesting user data, not just in the U.S., but user data all over the world for incredibly nefarious reasons, which, trust me, 100%, I have the opinion to myself that applications from China, specifically TikTok, may in fact be used for nefarious purposes. Until that 100% verifiably comes out as a fact, which it has not, which the NSA hasn't fucking said it, no, no security agency is just willing to outright put that claim out there as of now, this application shouldn't receive a ban. That's a bad precedent because this application, let's be real, is getting banned for geopolitical reasons. They're banning it because right now the world is in a dick swinging contest. And that's pretty much the fact of it. This application shouldn't be banned for that. If it comes out that it's harvesting data, oh, hell yeah, it deserves a ban, dude. Hell yes. 
And before I go out on another note, I'm pretty sure we're probably going to hear from the Chinese government that, oh, we're getting discriminated against. Before I actually end this video off, let me just leave you with a little fact. This is the same country that actively stifles every other outside tech firm from ever profiting or ever persevering as number one in their country. So don't cry and bitch online or tell anybody in the world that, you're be that we're being unfair when you have consistently been unfair for the rest of the world. World. But right now, that's just simply not the case. TikTok is just one example of a current new Cold War brewing all over the tech industry. And that's just how it is, ladies and gentlemen. TikTok is just one more victim in, in this giant global war that's kicking up. That being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. Just had to, br just had to bring my take on it because, whew. Lord knows do I love me a tale of potential malware. <laughs> I am out.